So let's go and take a look at um, what we have over here. So in this case, I have y, y equals 1 over 2 divided by x plus 4. Now the first thing I'm going to do, just to kind of review, this isn't what I'm asking you guys to do, but the first thing I would do is let's just kind of review our transformations. We're multiplying by 2 inside of the function, right? So if you guys remember, that is a horizontal compression of 2, right? That's a horizontal compression. Now again, if I have my function, right, if I have that graph and I'm compressing it, is that shifting the asymptotes anywhere? No, so the compression just stretches and compresses the graph. It doesn't actually change where the asymptotes are. However, up here, I'm adding a 4 outside the function. So that is a vertical shift up 4. Right? Now that's important because if I originally had a horizontal asymptote at 0, but the graph just got shifted up 4 units, I have a new horizontal asymptote at 4. So it's y is equal to 4. My original vertical asymptote was at x equals 0. The graph never moved left or right. right? These transformations don't move it left or right. So my vertical asymptote remains the same. x is equal to 0. Okay. Um, now let's go and find our x-intercept. Since my graph is being shifted up one, I probably have an x-intercept now. So what I'll do is x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. So I just replace 0 with y. 1 over 2x plus 4. Okay, now I need to solve for x, right? To solve for x, you've got to isolate the fraction first. So I'm going to subtract a 4 on both sides. Okay, now I've got to solve for x, but x is in the denominator. So to get x off the denominator, I need to multiply. multiply by the denominator on both sides. That divides to 1, and this gives me a negative 8x is equal to 1. And now, finally, to use my inverse operations to solve for x, I just divide by negative 8. And therefore, I get x is equal to a negative 1 over 8. All right? Now, the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So I'm going to plug 0 in for x, and I see that there is an issue. Because when I plug 0 in for x, that makes the denominator 0. And we know we can't have 0 as the denominator, right? So there is not a y-intercept. And that makes sense, right? Think about it, guys. There's a horizontal asymptote at, or sorry, a vertical asymptote at 0. The graph does not cross the y-axis. Based on the transformation, the graph never moves left or right. It just moves up. Do you guys see how there's still going to be no y-intercept, right? And if you want to verify this, for every single one of these problems, I create